and welcome to another episode of Homework with Ms. Thomas. I am Ms. Thomas, and today we will be exploring lesson three, homework of module two. The objective is to express metric capacity measurements in terms of smaller units, model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric capacity. Let's jump right into it. All right, so we are looking at capacity in this objective with this lesson and capacity has to do with how much something can hold how much and it usually has to do with liquids um can a object hold right how much can a tub hold or a bottle hold and the focus units are liters and milliliters so we wanna keep in mind this conversion right here, that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. When we say a milliliter, we're talking about 1,000 that it takes to make that one liter. So if I have eight liters, then that will be 8,000. And this is number one. If I have 27, that will be 27,000. If I have 39,000, then there are 39,000s. 68 would be 68,000 milliliters. And 102,000s would be 102 liters. For number two, five liters, 850 milliliters would be 5,850 milliliters, 29 liters would be 29,303 milliliters, 37 liters, 37 milliliters would be 37,000, no hundreds, 30, 17 liters would be 17,000 milliliters, and two, that's no hundreds, that's no tens, and two ones. For 13,674 milliliters, that's 13 liters, 674 milliliters. All right, let's go on to number three, solve. So again, we can use a simplifying strategy, we can use an algorithm, we can put it in smaller units, we can do mixed units, there's, there's some options here. Um, for this first one, I'm going to line up the numbers they're both already in milliliters, so I'm just gonna line the numbers up. 545 plus 48 milliliters. Five plus eight is 13. So I'm gonna write a three and regroup one. This is nine, nothing to regroup, and this is five. So that's 593 milliliters for B, we're subtracting, so I'm gonna put these both in smaller units. If I have eight liters, I have 8,000 milliliters minus 5,740 milliliters. I can do zero minus zero, but I can't do zero minus four. I can't take from this zero, so I'm gonna cross out the eight, this becomes seven. This zero becomes 10 and then nine, and then this zero becomes 10. And I don't need to regroup anything, so it's gonna stay 10. Zero minus zero is zero, 10 minus four is six, nine minus seven is two, seven minus five is two milliliters, which is the same as saying two liters, 260 milliliters. All right, for C and D, they want us to put this, the uh, show the answer in smaller units. So let's put, let's convert the two amounts that we're adding to smaller units. This is 27 liters, so that's 27,576 milliliters plus 784 milliliters. Six plus four is 10, zero regroup one. This is 16, regroup one. This is 13, regroup one. This is eight, nothing to regroup. 
and two. So that's 28,360. For this next one, I could just do a simplifying strategy. I have 27 liters and three liters there. I know that 27 and three is 30. 30 liters is 30,000 milliliters. Um, and then we also have 100 milliliters. So that will be 30,100 milliliters. See there, I didn't need to line them up. I didn't need to do an algorithm. I was able to do that mentally. All right, going on. They want us to put these in mixed units this time. So again, you could convert them to smaller units and then put the answer in mixed units, or you can subtract them in mixed units. You have some options. So let's do this first one in mixed units. 9 liters, 213 milliliters. Then I'm going to line up the milliliters with the milliliters. That's 638 milliliters that we're subtracting. I can't subtract 600 from 200. I don't have enough. So I'm going to take one of these liters and add 1,000 because one, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Right now, I can regroup um, or unbundle or you know do my my regrouping. Um, I can't do three minus eight, so I'm gonna take from the one that becomes zero. This becomes thirteen. Can't do zero minus three, so I'm gonna take from the two that becomes one. This becomes ten. I can't do one minus six, so I'm gonna take from the one that becomes zero. This becomes eleven. Now I can subtract. 13 minus 8 is 5. 10 minus 3 is 7. 11 minus 6 is 5 and 0. And then I have 8 liters. Notice how I'm always, 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 always including the units. You should not just be writing a number. You have to include the units because we don't know what you're talking about. You could be talking about kilometers or centimeters or grams. So you have to say the units. All right, here, let's convert them to um, smaller units here. So I have 41 liters, that's 41,724 milliliters minus 28,945. I can't do four minus five, so I'm gonna take from the two, that becomes one, this becomes 14. I can't do one minus seven, so I'm gonna take from the seven, that becomes six, this becomes 11. I can't do six minus nine, so I'm gonna take from the one, that becomes zero, this becomes 16. I can't do zero minus eight, so the four becomes a three, and the zero becomes a 10. Now let's subtract. 14 minus five is nine. 11 minus 4 is 7. 16 minus 9 is also 7. 10 minus 8 is 2. And 3 minus 2 is 1. Now they want these this in mixed units. So 12,000 milliliters is 12 liters and 779 milliliters. Right, four, number four, and onward. They want us to use a tape diagram to model. They want us to use a simplifying strategy or algorithm to solve, and they want us to write our answer as a statement. Okay, for the first one, Sammy's bucket holds 2,530 milliliters of water. Marie's bucket holds two liters, 30 milliliters of water. Katie's bucket holds two liters, 350 milliliters of water. Whose bucket holds the least amount of water? So I'm going to do a tape diagram for each of these because they want us to compare them. We have to figure out who has the least. 
So I'm going to do an S for Sammy, an M for Marie, and a K for Katie. They tell us that Sammy's is 2,530 milliliters or 2 liters, 530 milliliters. They tell us that Marie also has 2 liters, but hers is 30 milliliters. So hers is smaller than Sammy's. Right? Because here is 500. She doesn't have any hundred. She just has 30. So let's label hers. 2 liters, 30 milliliters. And then they tell us that Katie's bucket hose, 2 liters, 300. 50. So that's more than Marie's, but less than Sammy's, right? Because this is 300 compared to 500. 300 is less than 500. And let's label, this is 2 liters, 350 milliliters. So whose bucket holds the least amount of water? It would be Marie's. Marie's bucket holds the least amount of water. For number five, at the football game, the water jug was filled with 18 liters, 530 milliliters of water. At the end of practice, there were 795 milliliters left. How much water did the team drink? So let's do a tape diagram for the whole water jug. They tell us that it was filled with water, which was 18 liters, 530 milliliters. That was all the water that they put in there. So then this would be the total. They told us that at the end of practice, it was 795 milliliters. We don't know the rest, right? We don't know what they drank. We just know what was left. So if you know the total, you subtract. So I'm gonna subtract these two amounts. I'm gonna put them in smaller units though. This is 18,000 because 18 liters is 18,000 milliliters, 530 milliliters minus 795 milliliters. I can't do zero minus five here, so I'm gonna cross out the three, that becomes two, this becomes 10. Can't do two minus nine, so I'm gonna cross out the five, that becomes four, this becomes 12. Can't do four minus seven, so I'm gonna cross out the eight, that becomes seven, this becomes 14. Now I can subtract. 10 minus five is five, 12 minus nine is three, 14 minus seven is seven, and 17, right? Just bring down the seven, bring down the one. So the team <clears throat> drank 17,735 milliliters of water. For number six, <clears throat> 27,545 milliliters of gas were added to a car's empty gas tank. If the gas tank's capacity is 56 liters, 202 milliliters, how much gas is needed to fill the tank? So anytime you see the word capacity, So anytime you see the word capacity, that's the total. Because the definition of capacity is how much something can hold. So that means all that you can put in that tank 
is this 56 liters, 202 milliliters. So that is the total or the whole. So I'm gonna do a bar and I'm gonna show that the whole is 56 liters, 202 milliliters. They tell you what was put in there, right? 27,545 milliliters. You have to figure out how much more can be added in order to fill this tank completely. If you know the total, then you subtract. So I'm gonna put this total in smaller units it's 56 liters, so that's 56,202 milliliters minus 27,545 milliliters. I can't do two minus five. I can't take from this zero, so I'm gonna take from the two. That becomes one, this becomes 10, and then nine. This becomes 12. I could do 12 minus five, I could do nine minus four, I can't do one minus five. So I'm gonna take from the six, it becomes five, this one becomes 11. Can't do five minus seven, so this becomes four and this becomes 15. Now I can subtract. 12 minus five is seven, nine minus four is five, 11 minus five is six, 15 minus seven is eight, four minus two is two. 28,657 milliliters can, is needed to fill the tank. All right, that concludes the homework for lesson three. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next video, please keep learning and I will see you soon. Ta-ta. <laughs>